YouTube channel. So in my last video, I already started uh, doing examples uh, with the integration by parts method. I already have the formula for integration by parts, guys, which is written up here. I like to use this one. You may not really find it in all the textbooks that you guys are using, but this is the one that I like to use. Guys, if you have your own method that you have been using, it's fine. You can use that. Or if you want to give this a try, please give it a try as well. Then uh, we also have to keep in mind that we have to follow the, this order when we are trying to choose the first function f and then the other function g. Okay, so let me just quickly remind you guys this uh, i stands for the inverse functions, then comes the log, algebraic, trig, and exponential functions all the way at the end. So guys, uh, this is example two here. Let us uh, try and see how we can use the integration by parts method to evaluate this indefinite integral. So guys, the first thing we are going to do is uh, we are going to figure out or we are going to decide which function to use as the f function and which to use as the g. Obviously looking at this, and I like to have the formula in front of me as well as this whole sequence that which one uh, I have to choose first as an f and this second one as the g. So obviously we want to use the algebraic function first and then comes the exponential function. So this I'm going to treat as in my f function and this as my g function. guys. If you try to do the other way around, again, I mean, you can try and see what actually happens. Uh, you may not be able to actually just figure out the integral or you may have to do so many extra steps to get the integral, okay? So we want to start with this as our f and g. And now let us just uh, use the integration by parts formula. From here, this is gonna be, uh, so I'm now just gonna write the right-hand side. So f is my x squared, so we don't do anything with that. Then it's times integral of g, which is e to the power negative x dx. So guys, uh, I highly suggest and encourage my students to write the steps. I mean, you can skip some of them if you are like already confident working with these integrals, but uh, since we are like just starting to do these examples, I would, suggest that we should actually write the steps, okay? So then this is a minus, and then there's an integral, uh, then there's an f prime here. So f prime means the derivative of the f function. So uh, we don't have to really write f prime here. We can just simplify or calculate the derivative and write the final result. So derivative of f, which is derivative of x squared is two x. So I can simply write two x right here. Okay, then there is times, integral of uh, gx dx. So g is my e to the power negative uh, x. So I'm gonna write e to the power negative x dx. Of course, there is the dx all the way at the end, okay? So that's the first step, okay? So from here, let us see what we can do and how it's gonna help like simplify or how it's gonna help us to finally evaluate this integral. So step by step, guys, x squared times. This is something which we can do and we already know that the integral of an exponential function is the exponential function itself, but you have to divide by the coefficient of x or the uh, derivative of the inner uh, that comes under those special, sorry, shortcut methods. So you've got to divide by, uh, what is the coefficient of x here? The coefficient of x is negative one, or you can also think of that as the derivative of that negative x, which is negative one. So there's a negative one here, but guys, instead of writing a negative one here, I can just bring that negative upstairs Okay, so I can write this as a negative, so I don't have to write this negative one in the denominator, okay? That takes care of this piece, okay? And now here, I have to work with this piece right here. So guys, it's gonna be integral 2x, we're gonna leave that as 2x, then times. Again, we have to evaluate the integral of e to the power negative x, because there's two integrals. There's this integral outside and there's this integral inside. So we always start from inside inner to the outer. So first we evaluate the integral of this guy, okay? Guys, I'm not evaluating the integral of 2x. Please don't do that. First you have to do the inner, which in this case is the integral of this piece, and then you multiply, and then we apply the integral which is outside, okay? Just follow these steps carefully. Now the integral of this is the same thing that was here. It is e to the power negative x divided by negative one, but I don't have to write that negative one downstairs. I can take it upstairs. If I take it upstairs right here, uh, let me actually do that because I don't want to skip too many steps and I don't want to confuse you guys. So there was a negative one here, but we just got to get upstairs. And so this becomes a negative right here in front of the two. Okay, that takes care of this piece, integral of this. And then the other thing I have is dx. I have to leave that dx here, right? Uh, moving on, guys, this is already simplified and done. So you just have to just write it. I will keep on writing it. 
and then from step this here negative times negative we can actually simplify that uh, or we can also actually take out that negative to outside the integral we know we take those constants outside so it's going to be positive 2 and then let us see what is left inside the integral so inside the integral I have x times e to the negative x dx so it still seems like we cannot directly write a formula or integral for this expression okay so because we don't have a direct formula that gives us the integral of this function it's a x times an exponential function so what we have to do here is that we have to again since we are not able to get the integral right away in this step we have to go back and we have to again start with uh, denoting f and g and again applying the integration by parts okay so this is an example where you have to apply the integration by parts twice so guys that is one of the reasons why i'm actually showing you this examples and uh, i started with example one which was a very simple one and now i'm going to show you many different types okay so let us see how we can do that again uh, not too difficult it is the same thing it, instead of an x square we have a linear function x but again we are comparing between uh, an algebraic function and an exponential function and the choice is obvious we first start with we give preference to the algebraic function so i'm going to treat this first function as my f function and this as my g function guys it is not complicated it's like there's extra work and extra steps well uh, we cannot avoid those we have to do that in order to evaluate this integral okay guys let us take it up here this just goes on for the for the right so you just don't have to do anything with this except for you just have to rewrite this then plus two and then i'm going to have a square uh, square bracket here and then this and this again i'm going back to the uh, the, the product the sorry the integration by parts formula and I'm going to apply this right hand side so we, from using the right hand side just write the f as it is times integral of e to the power negative x dx right I'm just using that right hand side and then I have a minus here so I'm going to use a minus then integral and then I have to do the derivative of x derivative of x derivative of f which in this case is x so derivative of x we know is 1 which is a, which is good news because that is going to get rid of the x term and then there is also an integral of integral of gx which is e to the power negative x dx guys please do not forget there's one more dx outside okay and then uh, since we started this square bracket we also have to close this square bracket guys this is the step from here to here now we have to try to simplify this piece inside the square brackets and then distribute this two and then see uh, where that leads us to so guys since i don't have like room to extend this work so i'm going to get rid of some of the stuff and then uh, we're going to try to simplify this whole thing so guys i'm going to get rid of this step and i'll also get rid of i'm actually going to get rid of these uh, all these steps except for this last one guys i'm really sorry about it i'm trying to do it from my like in a room in my apartment so i cannot have like a super huge board so that's why i have to try to squeeze this whole thing in this small board so uh, let us go from here now so from here we're kind of going back so going back uh, this guy just stays like that negative x squared e to the negative x right nothing changes with that plus two and uh, we are still going to leave that two outside and then we are going to try to simplify this and this guys this is x integral of e to the negative x we have been already doing it so it's the same thing e to the negative x divided by negative one but i don't have to write the negative one in the denominator uh, i would write it just in front of the x okay that takes care of this piece minus let us see what happens here so here uh, we always start from the inner and then go outer so it's like integral one times that is not going to change anything it is just that we just have to first evaluate the integral of this okay and integral of this is the same thing e to the negative x divided by negative one so i can just print that negative upstairs and then i have a dx with it okay just simplifying that piece inside the square roots uh, nothing really crazy and from here let us see what we can do so negative x square e to the negative x you can already see that we already had like simplified this but we just have to keep on writing it and then plus two and here guys we still have to simplify a little bit uh, negative x e to the negative x is already 
we already evaluated the integral and all that we don't have to do anything with it but guys here there's few things that we can do negative times negative is positive right negative times negative is positive and then we just have to do the integral of e to the negative x so integral of e to the negative x okay guys here i don't want to confuse you let me leave that as a negative and then let me try to do the integral of this so if i do the integral of this there's a negative here and then there is e to the negative x and then i will have to also divide by negative one but what happens to these two negatives they will eventually cross out and then uh, that's it we are done now of course there's a plus c we don't forget the plus c when we are evaluating the indefinite integrals okay so guys two negatives here basically they will just cross out and then this negative will be distributed with this so finally we'll be left with only this okay guys there was a negative here but when we integrate this expression there's going to be a negative one downstairs the neg this negative downstairs and this negative upstairs just cross out each other uh, or they just become positive and then i'm only left with this negative outside so i think we're almost done we all we have to do is we have to distribute this two so it is negative x squared e to the negative x then plus okay i cannot have a plus here because i have plus two times times this negative number so i got to have a minus 2x e to the power negative x i hope this looks like an e and then positive two times this is negative two e to the negative x right and then there's a plus c guys this is the final answer sometimes uh, i mean people like to like simplify this a little bit more uh, which is uh, what you can do here is like you can see in these three terms e to the negative x e to the e negative x repeats in all the three terms so you can take that out as the greatest common factor guys if you leave it like this i mean this is totally fine i mean if you are doing it on a test this should give you get you full credit but uh, in textbooks if you see something slightly different so i also want to take it to that next step uh, you may see that in the textbooks so you can just take out negative e to the negative x as a greatest common factor and then let us see what is left inside the parentheses guys uh, well there's a plus c here at the end so let us see what is left inside the parentheses inside the parentheses guys i have x squared because when i distribute this i should get back this previous step so x squared goes here then there's already a minus here a minus here so there's going to be a plus plus 2x we have to be careful with these so plus 2x and then there's already a minus here so what is left is just simply positive 2 so guys it, you can leave it like this or even uh, people like to take out the greatest common factor and then you have this left inside the parentheses of course there's a plus 